Professor Davis back here with the Essentials of Statistics Part 2. The percents to fractions to decimals. Oh, some stuff that, you know, I know that you've seen uh, time and time again. I just wanted to do a quick overview of it. I guess the most important question is, why would we even be doing this? Well, the answer, in short, is probabilities. We uh, often write probabilities three different ways. First, as proper fractions. You know, those are proper fractions are pra fractions with the numerator value being smaller than that of the denominator, like two thirds. Denominator on the bottom is bigger. Eleven fifty seconds. Uh, denominator bigger. Same thing with uh, one hundred seven one thousandths. All right. So uh, proper fractions. That's a common way we represent probabilities. Second, decimals. We uh, often use decimals, and since they're written as proper fractions, they start with a zero, there's a decimal point, and then some other digits, all right? Like 0 0.13, 0 0.0009, 0 0.3645, all right? So decimals, that's the second way. And then the third way we can write a probability is as a percentage. We usually put, write those as a whole number percentage, or as uh, a percentage rounded to one decimal place, like 12.2 percent. All right. So those are the three ways we want to express probabilities: proper fractions, decimals, and percentages. So let's let's try an example, and then we'll talk about how we can use our calculator to help us do some of these uh, conversions here. So how about this? Let's convert 0.125 to a percentage and then to a proper fraction. All right, well, to convert it to a percentage, that's easy, isn't it? All we have to do is to move the decimal place two places to the right, and then put on the percent sign, right? So as a percentage, that would be 12.5%. We can do that in our head, that's easy. Now, let's go ahead and make this a proper fraction, and let's use our calculator to do this now. So let me go ahead and start the, uh, just enter this decimal part, 0.125. Now notice what happens if I go ahead and hit the equal sign. It go has it would the, the calculator converts that to a fraction for us. Now notice here one of the important keys in this calculator, the Casio FX 300 ES, is this key here that says SD converts from standard form to decimal form. All right, standard being like a fraction. So notice here if I hit this key, it toggles the answer back and forth between a proper fraction and a decimal. All right, so we can always convert fractions easy that way. Now, one more thing. Let's do this on our graphing calculator too. All right, so let me grab that, and we'll put in the same decimal part, 0.125. Go ahead and hit enter, and then to convert that to a fraction, here's what we want to do. Hit the math key, good key to have on the calculator. And then notice here, the very first first option says fraction. That takes the that little wedge me means take whatever answer you have, convert it to a fraction. So I just hit the number one key, and then if I notice if I hit enter, it'll convert that decimal to a fraction there. All right. So that's how we can do it on the um, TI-83 or TI-84 graphing calculator. So like we said, as, as a percentage, this is 12.5%, 12.5%, and as a proper fraction, we get 1 eighth. So there it is. Uh, this number is written three ways, decimal, percent, proper fraction. All right, let's try one more here. Convert 5 fourteenths to a decimal rounded to three places and a whole number percentage. So we want to take that number and then first make it a decimal and then we'll make it a whole number percentage. Let's see if we can do that with our calculator here. So I'll go ahead and clear this out. Now let's go ahead and write that decimal in. The decimal is 5 fourteenths. Notice here this key right below absolute value is a little fraction key. I'll hit that and notice it puts a couple boxes here for us to put a numerator and a denominator. So I'll hit 5 hit the right cursor key to get down to the denominator, put in 14. Now notice here, if I go ahead and hit equals now, it gives me back 5 fourteenths, but I want to see that as a decimal, right? So to switch it to decimal form, I'll hit this SD key one more time. Boom, there it is. And so notice now we have it in decimal form. form. So rounded to three places, let's see here. There's the digit in third decimal place, that's a seven. The one next to it is a one. So it looks like in decimal form, this would be, what, 
three five seven. All right, and rounding that to a nearest whole number, that'd be what thirty six percent, right? Because this uh, the, the number seven is bigger than five. So to make it a whole digit, uh, a whole number percentage, pardon me, we want to make that uh, this digit here in second place one larger. All right, so let's go ahead and verify that answer. So in decimal form, we get 0.375 rounded to three decimal places, and the whole number percentage is 36%. So there we have it. I mean, there's not much more to it than that. Taking um, taking uh, a number and writing it as a percent, a fraction, or a decimal. 